Well, hi everyone, and welcome to the Nomadic Fanatic channel, where everything is always rainbows and pancakes. Guys, how you doing? I'm uploading this video with some Nomad internet. There's a link in the video description where you can get $25 off, so some good mobile internet. That's how I upload all these videos. Today is Project A. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make two easy, quick, cheap RV interior changes here. Uh, this one has baffled me for over a year. As you've remembered, there has always been a clock here. There was a cheap clock here. Then there was a Mickey clock here. Now there's this Sterling and Noble Walmart clock here. And I always run into the same problem. And I've always been really baffled by it. Like, do I have bad batteries? Why do all these clocks slow down? They never speed up. They always slow down. It's another 25 minutes slow again. I know what the problem is. Analog quartz clocks like this and an RV are constantly being vibrated and jostled on the road. They were not meant to be put in an RV. They're meant to be put in a stationary house. So what's happening is, as that minute hand starts going past the six and going up here and you're driving, it's shaking it back down slowly at a time. I literally thought like I had bad batteries. I kept getting bad rechargeable batteries. No, these clocks just don't work. And this clock right here is here. I've always had this here for a very specific reason. That was because, if I can get the Velcro off, because it's hiding the old seat belt hole here for the passenger side. The seat belt is back in uh, East Alton, but this, this big, huge hole right there. That's why I've always had a clock here. So the key is analog clocks don't work on the road, but digital ones might. Now I swear, if this digital clock starts going 20, 25 minutes slow next month, <laughs> then somebody is messing with me. I'll put a digital clock right there. I got one from Walmart for 20 bucks. That's the one I got. It also says the day and the date and the temperature, and it's kind of flat, thin, so it's gonna go right there and cover that hole and hopefully not have yeah, problems. All right, perfect, I love it. We're getting some glare here. Let me go up like this. Yeah, there we go, it's perfect. And I'm also gonna put a little piece of Velcro on the bottom just so it doesn't make any noise against the wall while I'm driving. Secure that in and uh, we should be good. All right, I'll keep an eye on this in about a month. <laughs> and the other project, very simple, uh, is here in the shower area because this, I don't know. I just really, I don't, I don't want to call it a, um, a stock shower head, but it sucks. It doesn't save water. It's just very cheap plastic. And this part I have to show you because you won't believe. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, maybe this all is factory and I don't know, but this doesn't fit. So whoever came up with this design, it literally doesn't fit in its own holder. Now how, so like every time I stop, it's either just hanging down like this in here or this whole thing's on, on, the, on the ground down there on, on the shelf. Like, how did they, you know what I mean? So I've always wanted to replace it. I knew what I wanted to replace it with. It's just every time I go into Camping World or something, it's $129 for the shower head I wanted, the Oxygenix one. Well, guess what? I just rolled through Walmart in their camping section and Walmart is now selling an RV Oxygenix for 38 bucks. It's the exact same one, just half the price. So maybe I'll get lucky and I won't have to replace that tip and this one will just fit in it. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna install it real quick. I know it's not gonna match. It's silver, they had white and silver. I went with silver, but hopefully we get some better. Let me show you what the shower head looks like though. On, okay. What you get? I don't know. Ah, it, see, and it always does that. It's the most ridiculous thing, and I can't believe I put up with that for a year now. It's coming out right this second. All right, I'm throwing that right in the garbage. Uh, as we go up again, remember this the colors don't match. I didn't remove the old bar because I don't have any more of these little pins to put in the holes, and I don't want leaks. So I left this bar here. And uh, there's how I installed my Oxygenix shower head. Look at this, guys. What a great design. It actually fits in there and stays in there while I'm driving. What a, what a novel idea, right? 
I used some 3M tape on the back and I utilized the two screw holes. There's one more behind this one to screw it into the wall. It is solid and it comes off. And now we have the push button right there so I can turn the water on. Just make, wait, it was on, okay. Turn that guy off like that. Get the pressure in the line and I'll stand back and you can see how much more water comes out. You see? a lot better than it was i like the old pause pause feature there though so that was easy and something i've been wanting to do for a really long time so uh i'm gonna take my first shower with that head tonight and see how it works i'll let you know all right good morning turns out this may be an all repair fixing miranda type of day and uh that that's okay actually more on the motorcycle in here just a second real quick the uh shower head it it looks weird the way the water flows out, but it provides less water. And the way I know that is because I can hear the water pump not cycling on as often during the shower when the shower head's fully on. So it's providing more pressure with less water and thus, I don't know, it just feels a, a, lot, a lot, lot better. So, um, and also I wanna point out, one of the most popular questions people ask me all the time is where do I, what kind of sunglasses do I wear? What brand are they? Where do, where do I get them? <laughs> I'll show you inside. Again, I don't collect sunglasses, but I like to have different colors, different lenses for <laughs> different hats and shirts that I actually wear. And I like these Iron Man brand ones. So I try to get them whenever I can find them and I, I just keep them in nice condition. They're all Iron Man brand, $10, 10 or $12 brand, and they're sold at Walmart, and they work for me. You know, I don't know, just pointing that out. We're gonna go inside and I'll show you what the rest of my projects are today, but one thing I've already done is I went to uh, South Sound Honda, got a new battery in the back. I got a brand new Honda brand batter, uh, battery in here. It starts up fine, everything's perfect again. I also got a new tank bag I'm gonna go show you right now. Yep, here's the tank bag I got. It was on clearance for $49.99 by CarTech. Yeah, I've got saddlebags back there, but sometimes those saddlebags aren't quite enough. Plus, you got the fact that you got to unwrap this, you got to unlock it. It's not very convenient to take this camera that I'm filming on. So that's why I'm going to show you how this goes on with magnets. Very strong magnets that hook to the tank. This ain't going nowhere. You don't have to strap it on. Plus, when it's time to go somewhere, rather than empty all this out and put it in my pockets, I simply grab the entire tank bag and take it with me while I'm filming. Gotcha. So it's all in an effort to make traveling on the motorcycle and filming for you guys more convenient and easy for me. I've had these tank bags before. This camera, all I do is I take the tripod off, I keep the microphone on there, packs up real nicely, plus I can put my wallet and my ID and my registration in there, and uh, works really well. So that's that, but let, let's go inside. And don't get me wrong here, I love this six drawer system for the most part. For the most part, it's really cool. It blends in really nice with my 60 inch TV in here, although it is just a cheap, Walmart branded drawer. I did have to add extra reinforce these high quality. I think these are six pound So that these don't open up on me. I added all those however Here's the problem and this is the second time it's happened. It's not this drawer It's the one above that has lost this incredibly flimsy piece of wood So I can't <laughs> Okay, That's what we're left with these tiny little grooves in the side down here and the whole thing just falls through and completely breaks. How do I know that happens? Because it's already happened here. This is a really heavy drawer, but you can see I put in a new bottom and I put in these little uh, L brackets to, to secure it. So I, I fixed it and I repaired it better than it was from the store. And that's what I'm gonna have to do with this one. Well, this one and some other really heavy ones in here. Actually, I'm gonna do the other five just like that. So I went into the Wally World, got five more packs of these. There's a Home Depot across the way. We're gonna go over there right now, get some more half inch wood for this. And we're gonna repair this because again, I like it. It's the one that fits underneath the TV and in this space correctly. It's made very, very cheaply. And sometimes in the RV life, you have to fix it better than it was originally designed to make it work. And that's okay. That's okay. Wait a minute. Holy cow. I just figured something out today on accident i thought i thought the seal in this toilet has been continuing to leak because 
I've still been smelling poo poo from time to time here in the summer. So what had happened is I went number one, I flushed the toilet, I came around like this, walked over here and went, holy cow, what the heck was that? And then I thought about things for a second because I've got the fan turned to blow air in. I'm gonna turn it off right now, but when the ambient temperature outside is cooler than what it is in here, I will blow it in. When it's the other way around, I'll blow air out. Well, my toilet vent is right on the other side of this wall going straight up. So when you open the valve of the toilet and put more in, you're bringing smells through the vent right outside and then blowing them into the RV, Eric. I don't have a gasket problem. And it, the reason it only happens in the summertime is because I'm literally just blowing the poop vent stuff right back into the RV right here in the main floor. That's why I've been like looking under here and wondering, oh, is there something in the kitchen that's making it smell like poop? No, I'm literally just blowing it back in from the roof. So if you can in the summertime or if you know you're going to flush, don't put that on the... Oh, jeez. That's funny. Okay, Home Depot's right over here. I'll go get the wood and I'll be back to you. All right. Now we can do a project. These sheets were $14 a piece. They're technically one inch, one inch too narrow. So it'll be a half an inch extra on each side. Small stuff will fall through the drawers, but I don't care. I've got a whole bunch of little plastic crates to put smaller stuff in. And mainly it's just for big stuff anyway. So I'm not worried about it. Gotta make do with what you got, right? Wear all the proper safety gear, don't do what I do, blah, 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 you know. There we go. Get the sides and we'll be good to go. Perfect, new bottom. Five more to go, four more to go. Yes! I know I did everything wrong. I know. It works for me though. I like the I like the imperfectness of all the projects I do. Okay, well, I'm happy with the projects. If this felt like a strange video to you, you may not have been with me very long because this is actually real life adventure. It's not always about the hee hee, everything's always fine. Every yeah, I'm not that kind of channel. I've never been that kind of channel. I didn't start being that kind of channel. It was real life and sometimes you have project days. Sometimes you gotta fix stuff and repair stuff in an RV. So uh, if you didn't like this type of video, then don't worry because the next video will probably be full of adventure. We'll do go do something quirky or go on a little trail or something and, and do something much, much different than this video, okay? I want to share something else with you. In case you don't know, my family is full of artists. Most of us are self-employed. My dad's a sports artist. My little brother, Tyler, he actually has a master's degree. He's a school teacher here in Washington State, although that's kind of weird right now with COVID and the next school year being online. Most of it, most of them being online. But my brother is also a writer and his books can be found on Amazon at Tyler Grant Books. He sells some Kindle versions for like three bucks. He's also got some hardback paperback books and stuff like that. And uh, right now, if you're looking for a, for a good read, why don't you check out my little brother and help support someone else in my family. It would mean a lot to me if you check out his stuff. He's also fired up a new YouTube channel where he's going to be doing author read uh, excerpts from some of his books and stuff like that so I'll put the Amazon link below to his books and his web page for Tyler Grant books and if you could check it out you can go over to his channel and give him a thumbs up a little attaboy a little bit of encouragement you know you know how it is for artists all right otherwise remind me to close that up before I go and uh, Jackson I will see you in uh, 48 hours with some new adventures thanks for watching guys bye bye